The Out of Office Assistant is an Outlook feature that will automatically send out replies to let other people know that you're not in the office. And this feature is only available if you're connected to a Microsoft Exchange server, because if you're not, you won't be able to see it in your Tools menu. Click on Tools and go down to Out of Office Assistant. Now by default it's turned off. It's not set up to automatically send out replies. But if you're going to go on vacation or you're going on a long extensive business trip and you don't have time to reply to anybody's emails, go ahead and select the option that you want to send out of office auto replies. And down below you have two different replies. You have one for the people inside your organization or your employees or your coworkers, and then those who are outside of your organization or not directly linked or connected to the Microsoft Exchange server. One, you can give them a little bit more razz about you being out of office. Maybe you're on vacation and just loving it. And then something more professional for those who aren't your coworkers. But first of all, you can either leave it by default here and just say you're indefinitely going to be out of the office or give it a time range. So let's say my vacation starts tomorrow, Thursday, at not 10 a.m., but we'll say 6 a.m. And then it'll end one week from today, the 28th, at 5 p.m. Now what that means is that in between these times, start and end times, anytime somebody sends me an email, they're automatically going to get a reply. What reply is that going to be? Well, I have to type it down below. So first of all, those who are inside my organization, my coworkers, this is the reply I'm going to give them. Of course, you can apply formatting to your auto reply message here, and that's going to be for, again, my coworkers. Now to keep it professional for those who are outside of my organization, like let's say my clients, click on the tab here. And there's one of a couple of things you can do here. You don't even have to have an auto reply for anybody outside of your organization. They'll just be sending you a bunch of emails and they won't get a response back, which probably isn't that professional. But down below you do have some rules you can click on. On these rules you can add a rule and say anytime I get an email from somebody, I want you to go ahead and send it to Carrie or somebody else that can help this person out. Of course, this can be a little bit redundant, especially if you have hundreds of clients. You don't want to select all the clients here. That could be a little bit intensive. Maybe there are some specific clients that will need particular attention. So you can go ahead and click on the From button. And your clients probably won't be listed in the Global Address list, but in your Contacts folder here. And double-click on the Contact, click OK. And if you specifically get an email from Jason, maybe he's a little bit worked up about some implementation program your company's working on, you want to go ahead and send that on to somebody else. Like Carrie, double click and click OK. So instead of me just getting the email and sitting it in my inbox and for a week until I get back, we can send it or forward it on to Carrie. You actually have a forward option down below here as well. And you can have it, of course, up here, different options, send it directly to me or go ahead and CC me in on this instead of just sending it over to Carrie and me never seeing it. I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel and click cancel again. Again, if there are particular rules you want to set up, use the rules feature down below. Otherwise, this is going to just be the same for everybody else. All the clients that sends me an email, I'm going to have the basic auto reply. And down below you get two options. You can have it just for your contacts that are listed in your contacts folder here, or just anyone outside of your organization. And then type in any case, once you're finished typing your message and you're satisfied with your internal organization replies to you being out of office and your clients on the outside, go ahead and click OK. Now, if you need to make any changes, like all of a sudden you're going to be out of the office today, you can go back up to the Tools menu and make your changes to Out of Office Assistant. And let's say I'm just not going to have a date when I'm going to be back. I just don't know. You can go ahead and uncheck that, and it will immediately apply obviously right now and indefinitely or you can check the box and just have it well start today what I want to show you let me uncheck this is that if it's gonna immediately apply to today or you set the start time to today and click OK notice down below it gives you a pop-up warning well I call it a warning because the majority of times when coworkers get back from being out of office they forget to turn this off and you can see it in the lower right hand corner it's I again call it a warning that says hey you're out of office we have some coworkers that return from their vacations, and a couple days later, we get client complaints saying, hey, so and so is still out of the office. How long are they going to be gone? They need to keep track of this so that when they come back, to go ahead and turn this off so they stop getting out of office replies. But it's nice to know that you've got a little indicator here that your out of office feature is turned on. Now, let's see what it looks like when I send somebody like Carrie Heffernan 
an email and see what the response is when she's out of office. Over in my drafts folder, as you recall, in the level one training video, when you create an email and you save it, it dumps inside your drafts folder for a later time when you want to work on it. So I'll go ahead and double click and open up the email I have for her and then go ahead and you can see it's addressed to her. Um, please call the family movie theater. We have an employee appreciation night. Go ahead and click send and let's see what the response is. Let me go to my inbox when she's out of office. There it is right here. Let me go ahead and click and open up the email. Out of office, employee appreciation. That's the subject that I sent off to her and this is the automatic reply from the out of office feature. I'll be out for the next two weeks. Please dump all the work you have sent me on to Kurt. He enjoys helping us out. Really nice. What would really be helpful is to let me know the exact day and time that you're going to be out of the office. So when you set up your tools to out of office, go ahead and make sure to type in the message. This is the exact time you're, I'm going to be out, unless it's not that big of a deal. Now keep in mind, she's still going to get this message. It's just auto replying back to me. So if 100 people emailed her and her out of office assistant replied to all 100, she'll still have 100 original emails in her inbox when she gets back. This is simply and only a reply. And of course you can see that the uh, icon has changed from an envelope to a little door saying, hey, I'm out of here, or whatever you'd like it to mean, out of office. And there's one of two ways to turn your out of office feature off. You can either come down here on the status bar and click on that feature and click and turn off out of office. When you click on it, give it a second or two, and it's removed from your status bar, letting you know that it's been turned off. Let's take a look. Tools to out of office assistant. It moved the option from send out of office replies to do not send. What's cool about that is down below you can see that my text is still there. So next time I'm out of the office, all I have to do is just select it and either set my date and time or leave it indefinitely because I don't know when I'll be back and then just click OK. And the same text I have from my inside and my outside organization that I typed when I first did my out of office is still there. So that's great. It'll save me some time. Also for your rules, you want to make sure that if you want to update those, go ahead and remove them or edit them or add another rule. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.